Good evening, pushing socialism and recruiting kids to be gay or transgender. These are a few of the claims lawmakers and a lobby group made to oppose a bill supporters say would improve preschool in South Dakota. State lawmakers need to consider a lot of bills in a short amount of time. Kelly Lance, Brady Mallory is looking at how they research and fact check all of the claims they hear at the Capitol. Brady? Well, the House State Affairs Committee rejected House Bill 1175 in a 9 to 2 vote. The bill would have set up an early learning advisory council. It would be a governor appointed committee that would, in part, look at ways to make preschool more accessible. 48 states have this. South Dakota does not. Ultimately, the Department of Education opposed the plan, saying it didn't have the money for it. However, the conversation took a few turns. At one point, Republican Representative Stephen Haugard said the measure would have helped transfer a socialist agenda into South Dakota's education system. Then someone else, a woman who says she is a retired school psychologist, testified against it. Florence Thompson, president of a group called South Dakota Parents involved in education, advocated for kids to stay home longer. She argued it's better for their development than preschool. She also made this claim. Another thing that's in this is the SOGI agenda, the sexual orientation, transgender agenda. It's in all of the schools now. They're starting to push it younger and younger. And so these kids are going to be indoctrinated and we're going to start in preschool. Thompson claimed early childhood education is a recruiting tool. So this recruitment, and I will call it recruitment and grooming to the LGBT lifestyle is being put in younger and younger and younger. And it is a federal push, and I believe that we need to, we need to block this. Parents need to be able to raise their own children to their own beliefs. I think those claims are completely ridiculous. There's absolutely no uh, trans or LGBTQ um, agenda that is happening in our preschools. Healy, the bill's prime sponsor, says Thompson didn't submit any data to lawmakers prior to her testimony. There was absolutely no research, no citations, nothing to prove that her claims were reputable. We checked with the secretary of the House State Affairs Committee who confirmed Thompson did not submit any documents to prove what she said was true. The director of the Legislative Research Council says that's not a requirement for lobby groups, but says many do submit reports and research. I would say the majority of lobbyists, they are there to educate state legislators, and they are doing a fantastic job helping us make decisions for our state. We sent a Facebook message to Thompson to talk about her testimony and where she got her information. We'll let you know if she returns our request. We also sent a message to the chair of the House State of Affairs Committee to ask how testimony affects lawmakers' votes. We're also waiting for that response. Well, Brady, it brings up a good question. How do lawmakers make sure what they're hearing is factual? They can request to defer the issue to have more time to research and fact check. Someone on this committee did motion to defer 1175 to the last day of the legislative session, but the majority of the committee rejected that.